We are counting down to summer and now's your chance to win at least a $50 gift card. There are more than three dozen giveaways. All you have to do to enter the daily drawing is go to DelmarvaLife.com. You'll see the summer countdown. Click on that tab, then fill out all the fields that we've got for you there to fill out. Submit. Good luck to you and congratulations to today's winner. Beverly Beaver of Chester. Beverly, you've won a $50 gift card from Suicide Bridge Restaurant in Herlock. Congratulations. What do you get when you take a crime-solving duo that cracks the most impossible cases? Well, the hit show Elementary, seen right here on BOC. And tomorrow night, Holmes and Watson find a typical murder case tied to international and political affairs. But it's last week's episode that still has a lot of people buzzing. That's because one of the stars of the show made her small screen directing debut. Where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> this was my directorial debut for television. I knew the crew very well. I was very familiar with the material and with the characters. So that was what was so exciting about it. Something's wrong. We need to talk. I got the script about nine days or eight days before I started filming. Your friend will help mine or you and Mycroft will be friends no more. I think one of my main challenges was time because I was in every scene the episode before. I was doing lines and running around in the episode previous instead of location scouting and just talking about the shots. And so instead, I did that after hours and on the weekends. If anything happened to Joan, I'd never forgive myself. Well, that won't be an issue. If anything happens to Joan, I will murder you. They've given us 48 hours. Once those 48 hours are up. She's so fantastic at looking after, you know, her actors. And the whole time it was just me and Reese working, the days we were on together. It was a, a huge change up for us, you know, here on the show. Some of my favorite things were really just between Sherlock and Mycroft. Watson has been kidnapped. And really, you get to see the dynamic between the two brothers. I know why you're upset. My very good friend might be murdered by your very bad friends. Brilliant deduction, Mycroft. I don't think I've run so much in circles and back and forth from, you know, the video village back to the set and then give everyone kind of notes and then run back and then get, you know, get back into character. She was kind of there on set every day, you know, directing us. And so we kind of got to monitor the story arcs kind of a bit more intently maybe because of her presence. She was brilliant. Now that I've done it, I, I know that I can do it. So I learned something new about myself. You're not sure you can do what needs to be done without her. This is more than just a case. You are doing a million things at once. You're compartmentalizing what you have to do and people are asking you questions and there's so much going on. I was surprised at how naturally it came to me. I didn't expect to be so aware of everything. And I, I guess after being in the business for over 20 years, everything is there. You, you know, there's something that you really know and I, I didn't know how thorough I understood this business until I really sat behind the camera and watched it everything unfold. After I'm done, you will extricate yourself from my life and from Watson's forever. I really enjoyed directing. I think that in the future, if I look forward, this is something that I definitely would like to continue doing. You can watch Elementary tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, right here on WBOC. And we want to thank you for watching Del Mar to Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. We all know we shouldn't, but still, texting behind the wheel takes place every single day on Del Marva. Now, there's a national campaign underway to put a stop to it, and a Del Marva girl is behind the push. You may remember when Liz Marks was on Del Marva Life, how she's trying to make her message loud and clear to put down the phone. Now, as ironic as it may sound, putting a stop to distracted driving may be as simple as downloading an app. How technology can help put a stop to texting, calling, and surfing the web while behind the wheel. Today we learned about what drives you nuts. Could it be your significant other? Figuring out how to negotiate and live with your loved one is something everyone who is in a relationship has to do. In part two of our series, Normal or Nuts, find out what is indeed normal and what's not when it comes to your love life. Plus, it's an affair with the arts, how you can help lend a hand to the Biggs Museum of American Art, and it's as simple as coming out and having a good time. And we're even getting an early taste of the affair when Abbott's joins us in the kitchen to make a seafood dish popular in Central and South America. Now don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. 
Delmarva Live. Life at its best here on Delmarva. Don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.